My creamy and crisp raspberry cheesecake croissants make a brilliant slap-up breakfast you can lay on for guests at the drop of a hat. First thing I'm going to do is start off with the cheesecake filling. 500 grams of ricotta in a bowl. If you don't want to use ricotta, you can use full fat cream cheese. Whatever you do, use full fat because the low fat stuff has got loads of water in it. So when you go to bake it, it just kind of this, it just leaks all butter croissants. I'm just saying, if you're going to go all out, go all out. Add four tablespoons of caster sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I love extract because you get that instant flavour all out of a bottle, easy peasy. It can last years in the cupboard and save time scraping out vanilla pods. This is the start of a good vanilla cheesecake. But we don't want good. We're here to impress, but quickly. And for that, I'm calling on the freezer. Frozen raspberries, I always have them in the freezer ready for a cheesecake emergency. Mix until that gorgeous raspberry pink pops through. We're almost done, but this recipe has a hidden time-saving bonus. So you thought that we were going to make one breakfast. No, we're going to make two. And that is kind of one of the rules that I live by. If I can make two meals out of one, I'll try. We're going to make some overnight oats. Simply scoop out half the mixture and pop aside for later. For now, cheesecake croissants, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Finish your cheesecake mix with two tablespoons of plain flour and an egg. Add that straight in. Woo! Okay, so that's our cheesecake filling done. So let's get our lovely buttery croissants. Just slip that right across, but not all the way through. We're creating a little cup for our cheesecake. So you've got to do this in a cupcake case because that'll show you. Imagine trying to keep that upright. It's just not going to happen. You need one of these. I love like a full English on a Sunday, but it's just too many pots and pans sometimes. Just can't be bothered. And this is just one tray, a bowl, and I'll have breakfast sorted for tomorrow. Today's couldn't be easier. We're already on to filling. I want a little sugar in my bowl. In there. Don't get me wrong, love jam and croissants, but bake some cheesecake in it. I want a sweetness down in my soul. It's a bit out of this world. We haven't even baked these and look how impressive they look. Like, you know, you'd, even if no one's coming over for the weekend, now you want to invite them over. It's like, hey, do you want to come over? Bake for 10 minutes, just enough time to sort out tomorrow's breakfast. Those overnight oats. Grab that mixture you set aside earlier. 150 mils of whole milk, and this just loosens it up. Then 150 grams of porridge oats. Love making hot porridge in the morning, but this is even faster, even quicker. Tomorrow it tastes good, but it will taste even better the next day. Breakfast two done, and that means a lion for me tomorrow. Two best feelings in the world. Having children and knowing that you're all over it. We're looking for a wobble. And they're wobbling, and they're ready. My quick, crispy and creamy, rich raspberry croissants are an effortless breakfast, guaranteed to impress your guests. Making something impressive does not have to take loads of time and loads of effort. Mm. That flaky, yummy, buttery croissant and creamy cheesecake with that zingy raspberry. Forget everyone else, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go back in.